closet as promised, showing you how I organize my system for getting ready in the morning and why it can be helpful for you to take a little bit of time to organize first so that we can also start going through stuff in our next video and figuring out what we can get rid of, what we can donate, what we want to keep, and how we can style all those things. So this is my closet. Welcome. Some of you may have smaller closets. That's okay. You can put away anything that's out of season. I have all of my clothes out right now. In Colorado, we can have 50 degree temperature changes in a day. So I like to keep everything out and visible so it's really easy for me to find things. If you have a bigger closet, fantastic. We are all jealous <laughs> and I'm happy for you. Um, I have some stuff in drawers down here, t-shirts, tank tops, that kind of thing that you could hang up if you wanted to, if you want to have it more visible or have it on open shelves. So that could be more visible there. Um, I have some pants up here. I've got jeans right there and I've got other pants and shorts right there, uh, like denim shorts and that kind of thing. I work out shorts in the um, in my drawers, and then I've got some purses and stuff. And then I've got my clothes. And I've got my shoes. So I find that it's really helpful to keep shoes, um, to stack them vertically, to save some more space, and to keep them organized, um, and to keep them nice. All right, so I've got my clothes that are hung up. I start from tank tops and go all the way through sweaters, cardigans, dresses, jumpsuits, um, jackets up there. So there are um, studies that have been done. Don't ask me what they are, but I've heard about them. And it makes sense that your eye goes to color very easily, which is why I don't organize by color. I'm not going like all my red stuff together here and going through the rainbow because it's easy for you to go red, 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 and find your red things. It's not as easy to pick out the types of clothes if they're all together, which is why I organize by type. So I've got, um, I start with spaghetti strap tank tops and then go to just sleeveless tops, short sleeve tops, um, long sleeve, like long sleeve t-shirts, then long sleeve blouses, uh, sweaters, lightweight sweaters first, then heavier weight sweaters, and dressier sweaters, and then I go to layering pieces, so anything that would go over something else, like a full zip sweatshirt type thing, or a cardigan, or a half zip, or whatever, things that you would layer on top of something else. So in the sections too, I find that it's really nice to go from casual to formal within those sections. So for example, in my short sleeve section, I start with the more t-shirt type stuff, like this, and then I go toward blouses. So that is just another easier way within those sections to organize. And it's really not that hard to keep up. I mean, I'm doing laundry, I'm putting my things on hangers, and when I come in here to put everything away, I just know that I'm putting short sleeve with short sleeve, and so on, etc. It also is really helpful to see where you have duplicates in your closet, and when we go over how to get rid of things, we don't really need multiple things that have the same purpose in our closet. If you're looking to pare down a little bit or to have more of a capsule wardrobe, or to just not have so many choices in the morning to make life a little bit easier and a little bit quicker in the morning, we're gonna get rid of those duplicates. So I know that I have a lot of gray sweatshirt zippy up type things. I've actually gotten rid of a lot. And so now I only have one light gray, one medium gray, and one dark gray. Aren't you proud? I got rid of a lot. Um, and so really I don't even probably need all these, but for right now I have room for them. I actually wear them all, so I'm going to keep them. But it makes it a lot easier to see where you have duplicates if you're putting like items together. Okay, so uh, one thing I just thought of real quick that I want to make sure I mention is hangers. I have started using... Um, all of these skinny hangers because it just makes my closet feel less cramped. I'm not having to shove things in. I also have a rule that I don't buy any more hangers. I have enough hangers right now for the amount of clothes that I own. And I'm just not going to buy any more hangers because I don't want more clothes in my closet. I don't want to have to be shoving things in 
finding room, um, and having more choices to make in the morning. So personally, I have, I don't know how many hangers I have, but I slowly changed out kind of my old, those round plastic hangers, or even like hangers from the dry cleaners. Um, I've slowly just replaced with these. And then I'm done buying hangers, unless they break. Um, but these are just great. They're about 4 or $5 for 20 of them at Walmart or Target or wherever. So even if you do a little bit at a time, um, it's really helpful because it is also it looks less cluttered in your mind. So if you can have any way that you can declutter your closet, including having all similar hangers, is going to help you in the morning make decisions. Um, we know that it's easier to make decisions when there's less clutter and we can focus a little bit more easily. So that's that. Um, I do have some jackets up here that I wanted to tell you guys about. Um, back here are like some more formal dresses, kind of the furthest um, space in the closet and the hardest to get to are just my more formal dresses that I'm not going to get rid of because I may need to use them. I don't really want to put in a bin because I don't want them to get wrinkly, but I just don't need easy access to them. So they go back there. And then I've got some blazers that I wear once in a while. And then I move up to like my denim jacket and some vests and stuff that I wear a lot. So having things accessible and easy to find is uh, really easy and it's just a big time saver. So next video, we're going to tell you how to go through your clothes and how to make decisions, what to keep, what to get rid of, how to start a wish list for things that you know that you could put to good use in your closet um, based on what you already have. So hope this was helpful to you guys and we'll see you later.